everybody. It's the dude. It's the rebel. It's the guy that steps next level. Mr. Kenny Sergeant himself. How y'all doing? I'm also known as Geek Dude. Dude Rebel. Level 92. Sergeant Crazy. And yes. From the start is K-Dog. Until the end it's still K-Dog. Ha. Welcome everybody to another Key Clip episode. Welcome. It's Key Clip number 48. Yes. We're only two Key Clips away to hit 50. And I'm about to make it big. Alright. I promise you that. So. It's been a while since I have done a uh, key clip episode. It's been like I think two weeks. Um, so um, let's just review on some of the things that we've done for key clip forty five. We have done the at games Sega Genesis series. We know we're just looking over some games. Uh, we have looked over Sonic. That's the main one. Uh, we looked over some Golden Axe. We looked over some uh, Streets of Rage, and of course some other games. Now I was. Keep, I'll keep on doing some more on that. Don't you worry about that. Uh, 46, we have looked over what happened as of Ferguson. The whole Michael Brown incident. Still give a shout out to the Michael Brown family. Uh, sorry about your loss. Still my condolences, my man. Uh, 47, we have looked over one of the most greatest things I'd say Super Nintendo has done to handheld gaming. Is that, that was making the Super Game Boy. It's basically just a regular Super Nintendo cartridge. And you can put your Game Boy game in it. And play it on a bigger screen. And we'll probably look at one game. And uh, let's see where it goes from there. Uh, also for some key clip bonuses. I have uh, did two. For one I did a Just Dance for the Xbox. And I have done the ALS Challenge. From uh, a couple weeks ago. And that was real cold too. I think I was high. Um, so today's review. Uh, this, is pro this is something that's well known. Everybody... Everybody's heard of it. I don't know if they, I'm pretty sure someone played it, but I'm pretty sure someone has seen it. But from the cartoons to the portable consoles, those are all great, but this game was even greater. Pokemon Stadium for the N64. Y'all want to see some monsters battle it out? Get this. Blastoise. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, Pokemon Stadium for the N64. First off, everybody, I'm pretty sure, has heard. Or seen the show. I've seen the first generation. And it was great. That's the only one I want to watch. Because that's the only ones of course I had to remember. Uh, maybe G2. But just mostly G1. But um, yeah. So I, I, like I said, I've seen the show for a while. Uh, Pokemon first off. I think that came, yeah, that actually came out. As a portable game for the Game Boy. Uh, it was red. Blue and yellow. Now I remember uh, owning yellow. Because that's like, I think I was like Pikachu for some reason. And I was like, alright, let me get that one. Uh, now that one is basically like a, it's like a travel, like traveling story modes and all that. you basically just trying to get all the Pokemon and help Professor Oak. But in this one, you're just fine with monsters. Now for this one, it's a comparison from, there's a comparison from this and the, the Game Boy Pokemon. Uh... The battle standpoints, as far as the Game Boy goes, you know, like say you walk to grass and it has like that flash, and then of course you can see a Pokemon right there. You can run away from those. Those, I mean, or you can run away from them, or you can capture a Pokemon there. But uh, if you run into somebody and they want to battle against you, uh, of course you can't run away. You got to fight them. Now the thing is, you have like a whole selection of moves and defenses, and hopefully you can try your best to win, and then. You forge you uh forge on to the next uh uh to the gym leader. Now the farthest I got to as a Pokemon Yellow was Brock because I sucked at it and I was a kid so I really didn't know like uh electricity through rock uh I didn't really know the differences from electricity and rock because electricity can't really uh damage any rock type Pokemon so I had to play it on the emulator get Pidgeotto and then try to defeat him there. So uh anyway but anyways. That's mostly, that's basically yellow, blue, and red for all that. It's basically going throughout towns, collecting Pokemon, find other people for gemstones, or no, going to gym leads for uh, stones or whatever. But this one is really different. You basically just battling it out. Uh, of course, you have, you have the original stadium, you have free battles, you have battle now. That means you can just like fight somebody, some random person, and then fight random Pokemon. Uh... There's also a story, it's a, I don't know if it's a story mode per se, but it's, there's a part in here that's kind of like playing a regular Game Boy game. 
It's uh it's called the Gym Leader Tower. You're basically fighting three regular Pokemon trainers, and then of course you're fighting the uh, Gym Leader itself. Now, it's really, like I said, there's really no difference in it. But uh, there's also a kids club. There's like little kid mini games. We'll probably look at one or two or whatever. How much I feel like doing? Because I know for one, I'm trying to get through the battle. Uh, and another thing that actually made this game great. Six, the Nintendo 64 actually made a uh, they made a device called the transfer pack, and I'll be right back for a minute. Okay. And uh, sorry about this control. This broke. But um, for Pokemon Stadium, there's a way that you can actually use your Pokemon <clears throat> in an N64 game. In 64, they made a transfer pack for the controller, and it goes right. It goes right behind here. I had it once and I sold it. I was gonna try to uh, put it in the video if I still had it, but whatever. Yeah. So basically, from your Game Boy, if you had like uh, a couple Pokemon. That you capture, you can transfer from you put the transfer pack in here, plus the game, and then it goes onto your screen, and then you can use those for the battle. I think it was pretty cool. Uh but of course I rented this. I've never really owned a uh Pokemon Stadium. But uh if anybody excuse me, if anything, I'll probably just use Blastoise, Voltorb, Aerodactyl, Primeape. And probably two two other Pokemon because Blastoise is my dude. Now, of course, every Pokemon here is basically a monster, but in some in some cases, you know, they do resemble uh other animals like Blastoise. You can already tell it's a giant turtle with two like tank cannons, and then Charizard is basically a giant dragon. That's obvious. Uh, Ivysaur, I can say he's a plant. Uh. Yeah, there's like, there's also like different styles types of Pokemon. You got the fire Pokemon, you got water, you got plant, you got uh, air type, rock type, electric type, uh, poison type, and uh, it's an, it's another one I forgot. It's like mysterious, like some mysterious ones that for, or something. But uh, that's basically, this is basically the whole game. This is basically just fight, uh, going through different opponents and battling three Pokemon. And also... In the uh, Pokemon Stadium part, there's like four different levels of uh, battles. Like four, four selection battles and four battles within that uh, selection. But I'll show you all that when we get to the game. Uh, and since I don't have a transfer pack, I got to rent Pokemon. Because but that's I was kind of say rent Pokemon is kind of better. You only use it at one time anyways. But uh, without further ado, let's take a look at some Pokemon. And let's fight works time. okay yeah. water types the fairy jiggly pup Pikachu and Psyduck Now, every time you start the uh, game, it always has this saying, like, there's no uh, game pack in here. And, of course, we don't have one, so let's get through it. So, right here, that's the Pokemon stand. That's the main. You could uh, battle against your friend. This one, you can, like, say you just battle against some random guy. And the gallery is uh, basically all your uh, photos. I have not, not used this. See, that's basically just taking pictures. So I gotta say, it's like Pokemon Snap. But let's go to the Pokemon Stand and see what you got. No. So right there, that's the Pokemon Stadium where the tournaments are held. You touch the middle, middle of your Pokemon with four sets of rules. For and if you had your Game Boy pack, you can play the Game Boy Pokemon there. Yes, you, yes, you can actually play your uh, Pokemon Red or anything on this. So it's kind of like the Super Game Boy again. Now, of course, again, we don't have the pack. That's what you always got to have. You have to have the pack in order to do it. And maybe I might buy it back. Maybe. Right here, this is the Pokemon Lab. You can check out you have the Pokemon's health and crap. 
right here is the Hall of Fame. That's where uh, for all the winners that have statues of different Pokemon. Of course, we don't have any. There's a free battle again. Now, first, let's take a look at this real quick. So basically, the Kids Club is just uh, regular mini games. It's like nine of them. We got we got Magic Heart Splash. Clefairy says, run, rat attack, run. Shoot you go around. Thunder and Dynamo, Snore War, Atkins Hoop Curl, Rock Harden, and Dig Dig Dig. Let's take a let's take a look at that. That's kind of easy. So basically, you got to go around and eat the certain shoesies. Now I'm the one with the blue. So this is basically the whole game. You just basically just going, going around, just eating different things. Okay, I'll wait. So now it's over. Let's see who won. So that's basically, you know, like I said, they're all these are just all mini games basically. Now this right here, that this is the gym leader castle. See, this is basically just like the Game Boy. You know, you would go around, you know, fighting other. Uh, Pokemon trainers in order to get to the generator. Uh, first, we had to go right here with Buck Boy, a lad, junior male, and then Brock is the generator you have to defeat. But like I said, that's, ba this, that's basically the story mode, but we're just going to uh, just look at the battle. So right here, we got the Poke Cup, we got the Pika Cup. Petite Cup and the Prompt Cup. The Prompt Cup is basically the hardest. I'll probably say the ultimate battle. Uh, this is basically just using some cute Pokemon. This one is a uh, lowest level Pokemon for the uh, Pika Cup. But let's look at the official Pokemon League tournament in the Poke Cup. But like I said, this is basically the four the four phases of it. You got the Pokeball matches, Great Ball. Ultra Ball and the Master Ball. So of course we have the Pokemon Ball. And once again we got a Rinse of Pokemon. So, as you already know, I'm gonna get Blast Switch first. It's water type. We're gonna go down on the way to get that. Yeah. Now he's a rock and fire type Pokemon. Now I'm gonna try to find a fire. Actually no. Get Bolt Tor, he's electric, even though he's like a bomb. Let's get a fight attack Pokemon. As you know, yeah, I'm gonna get him. Get Pomet, I should already have fighting. I need a fire attack Pokemon. Let's go try me. Let's see, sorry about flying. Uh, let's get a plant. So, our first bat, we're going to be finding some Barton Kid. Sorry, I got his Pokemon. Wait a minute. Let's see. Bam, bam, and bam. We're finally underway with Pokemon Tournament Poke Cup Pokeball. We have a large contingent of Pokemon with a bewildering mix of moves. 
So now we're going to select our moves. Get another Pokemon just for heck with just see what they're going to do. Still on Blaster for a pet. So now we got Gloom. What's this? Yeah, it's a hit! How will the Squat Pokemon fight? What do I use? It's crashing about! What's that? That's a good hit! So there's the attack! The bear hit! Wow. Neither one is conceding an inch. There's nothing you can do now. Still thrashing. Power strike! And Gloom is down. Oh! Is he down and out? What Pokemon will be fighting next? Let's use Aerodactyl. They strike fighting poses. Oh, it's Aerodactyl! The Pokemon are entirely different types. Dragon Ring! Oh! <laughs> oh! It's now! There's only one Pokemon left in reserve. So now we got to fight a male Nidoran. The remaining Pokemon stock is two to one. It's still kind of weird how the they make two different Nidorans. I know that's down. Ah, it's a one-hit wonder. And there goes the battle. And just like that, the battle ended. And right now we've had a boulder badge and there's a uh can't see what that thing in the way. But uh there's like seven more badges you can collect, you know, once you uh defeat everybody else. But uh we're gonna save it quick. But of course from that battle on we can find some other guys. Back to the menu. I'm just gonna stop it right there. And that, ladies and gentlemen, <clears throat> is Pokemon Stadium. Uh, for people that love Pokemon, I'm pretty sure you have had this in your collection. For others that want to start liking Pokemon, I suggest get this. Or get, get this and get the Game Boy kinds. Because that can actually, that's actually a way I started playing. Uh, there's also other Pokemon games for this. Um... Uh, I remember they came up with Pokemon Stadium 2, they had uh, Pokemon Snap, and they had Pokemon Puzzle Quest. Sorry. They had Pokemon Puzzle Quest. Uh, yeah, I think that was, yeah, I think that's about it. But yeah, it's, it's, it's a great show. Like I said, great show, great game. Everybody should know about it. And that will do, ladies and gentlemen, for number 48, 49. I, have think, I think I got a good video uh, for that one. So, guess what y'all can do. Y'all can like and comment on the video. Y'all can also follow me on Facebook. Y'all can friend me on Facebook. I'm Keenan Sargent. Or you go to Facebook.com slash DoLevel92. Same way with Twitter and with Instagram. I'm DoLevel92 on there. And until next time, I'll see y'all when I want to see y'all. Peace out.